Welcome back to Hoarder's Heart. On this episode, we're going to be doing one of Hoarder Atreza, <laughs> the Kamari Method Part 7. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and checking me out. I'm a hoarder. I explain how my hoarder mind works, how I have an attachment to things and I have a hard time letting go. And I show you all my hoarded runes as I learn how to let go. And I still feel a little too vulnerable ugh, to let the world know who I am. So I put the sunglasses on and the phone in front of my face. So back to this episode, we are doing a Kamari method for makeup. Yay! That's why I have my little makeup wand brush ready to go. <laughs> And honestly, this is my second go round at trying to Kumari my makeup. I had tried this, I think like last fall, early last fall, I had tried doing it. And I kind of had an idea of what it was because I had seen YouTube videos on the Kumari method and I was very intrigued. But I feel like now I know a little more because I've seen the actual Tidy Up series. I did listen to the audiobook and I feel comfortable to do makeup one more round to see if I can let go of a couple more things because technically makeup is next on the list. So that's what we're going to be doing now. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so most of my makeup is in here. And this is my first room that I cleaned. This was the smallest room in the house. And I cleaned this last summer. As you can see, I didn't put pictures in the picture frame yet, but that's okay. And this is also where I record my confessionals in this room. And for the most part, I kept it fairly neat in the sense that, you know, I don't have as many piles over here and over there. I mean, this was already kind of like skimmed down, but there's still more stuff I feel ready to get rid of. But here's the thing. Even though I decluttered it, I had to create new habits to keep it clean or it's just going to pile up. And let me show you an example of under here what I started doing. Okay, so under here, here's an Ulta bag, right? This was last week. Um, our, our tax returns came. I've been working crazy hours at work. And I was like, hey, I am allowed to actually go to Ulta Sephora this month, so I'll treat myself. So I got this, and I've been wanting this palette because I love palettes. <laughs> and I got this primer, right? So I, I had fun. I enjoyed myself, and it felt like a, a deserved treat. There's two more things in here. Now, guess what? I already used it. I already played around and used it and felt the need to put it back in the things. This actually I have to return. I have to return that. Thank God I have the receipt because it's too late. But felt the need to put it back in its package because I wanted it to feel new. <laughs> and this is something I need to break. I need to break this habit of trying to keep it perfect in the sense because like when I open it up it feels like it's brand new again just like when I first got it and I feel that feeling of yay I need to pull it out of this box and and put it on yeah I do that and I need to stop I need to take it out of the bag <laughs> and actually go and put it in a home so for now I just put that to the side here's another example this was not too long ago I stopped at Dollar Tree and now I actually had to get Dollar Tree I needed like I just saw the makeup wipes. I was like, oh good, I need makeup wipes. And I had to get a couple of things for my son's birthday party. But what did I do? Uh-oh, I impulse buy. Because I thought, I can impulse buy at Dollar Tree. That's not going to kill me. Well, it didn't kill me financially, but it's not good. Saw these Wet n' Wild makeup brushes. Four dollars. So, one hog wow. Even got like two of, wait, wait, two of the same. Because, hey, it's only a dollar. Let me grab it. They're brand new brushes. I love them. They're so cute. Wet n Wild has gotten better with their products over the years. And I impulse buy a bunch of brushes. And I need to stop that. I have brushes already. I already have that. So I think what I'll do is maybe I'll keep one or two that I really like. And I think the rest maybe I should give it uh, give as gifts. So that's going to come out. <laughs> And yeah, I'm just gonna have to start pulling. No, this is like hair and I don't have to pull that. The only things I really have to pull in here is skincare and makeup. So I'm going to grab that. 
All right, guys, it's all laid out on the floor. Here's all my makeup and skincare, and there's like the little makeup cases. And you know, as I look at this, it's really not that bad considering how much of it it is. And also, this is my second time doing this. I had already did a Kamari uh, method on makeup last summer when I was learning how to record and learning about the whole, you know, Marie Kondo concept. And I actually did get rid of a lot of stuff and I wish I recorded how much I discarded on that one. But again, I was a rookie and here we are. I will definitely record on here, which <laughs> ones I get rid of. So this is not round two to scale it down even more. I'm getting better at letting go of things as I basically make discarding and decluttering a habit basically because I'm doing it every week now. So let's go share the categories. We have makeup brushes over here. We have our beautiful eye shallow palettes and loose eye shadows over here. Here go, oh, these are the last two of the Ipsy bags that I have. Here are lip glosses. Here is, oh, right over there is a couple, uh, this right over here would be highlighters and bronzers. Here's uh, eyelashes. Right here is kind of like foundation and setting spray. Here's kind of like masks and lotions and potions to try and make me look like I'm still in college. Here's perfume and body sprays. Here are some nail files and all the nail polish, at least in this little container anyway. <laughs> but here's all the different nail polishes that I have. And again, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'm a hoarder. There's probably more makeup spread out somewhere. And I, I, I honestly believe it. I know that there's older makeup probably in the basement somewhere. Yeah, there is, that I just, I didn't wanna let go of. And so it's not all of it, but at least it's, a majority of it right now. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead. Let's see, where should we start? Where should we start? Maybe I'll start with nail polish. So, all right, let's get started. All right, so here we go. Let's get started on the nail polish. Now, some of this is very, very old. I Very old. We're talking like probably 20 years. Yeah, I'm, I'm serious, like 20 years old. And as a matter of fact, let me show you the container that I had it in. So this, do you know how old this is? This is from like 1998. I kid you not, I remember buying it. I don't know where I bought it from, but it was at my parents' house. And look how old some of that, that see that? That is old and I'm gonna toss that out because I'm gonna clean it out because it still functions, you know? But look, I gotta show you this real quick. How funny is that? Do you see that? That is an eyeshadow applicator that has the foam on the top, has disintegrated into the fabric. <laughs> that is bad. <laughs> so we're gonna give this a really good clean out, toss that stuff and put the nail polishes back in here because it works. But yeah, some of this is really old. Like, look. All right, let me show you this right here. See this? Okay, top speed. This is supposed to be a mint green. It's looking like it's like transforming into like mustard yellow a little bit. This is bad. I can let this go. Same with, let me say, let me say, oh, right, right here. I can let that go. This legit, I bet you is from like 2004. Like, I'm not lying, like 2004, probably at least. What else, what else? Was, oh, look. This is like a clear one. Uh, it's supposed to be a clear polish. I know it's from like college and it's it's yellow. It's not clear, it's yellow. And you know what? I just realized I'm easily going through this and I know I shouldn't question like, here's OPI. This is also from that. I remember getting it for Christmas. I can remember the story to it and I loved it. But, oh, here's the other ones that came with it right over here. And I'm usually like, I have this story but I don't feel physic like, I, not physically, I don't feel emotionally attached anymore. So let's let it go. Okay, I'm doing good. But right here, let me show you. This is what I do use now. And I I do love these, the Insta Dry. Um, they dry really quick. I've been so busy lately, just working so much and trying to record that I haven't been painting my nails. So I love this because you paint them and legit within five minutes it's completely dry. You can touch anything. So I do love this. So these will be kids right here. And oh, let me show you this really quick and then I'm gonna speed clean. Okay, do you see how old this is? Okay. Ooh, I just saw this. So there's like ooze coming out of that. So we'll get rid of that one. But this one right here, this one is from 
the 90s. Being a teenager in my parents' house, wet shine Maybelline. You know how that is old. And I'm feeling an emotional attachment to it. I really am. Is it sparking joy? I don't know if it's sparking joy. I think it's more like sparking security <laughs> so that I don't have a panic attack. So this one I am going to keep. I mean, I've kept it this long for 25 years. What? <laughs> as well keep holding on to it no <laughs> i'm basing it more on an emotional on this one this one i don't feel letting go of this one yes and the other ones yes so i'm gonna go ahead and speed clean through this okay so here are a lot of the lip glosses now this is very pared down already but we're going to get rid of a couple more but i want to show you why some things i held on to that were very old like this i need to let it go the color doesn't even look like this anymore i wore this color this lip gloss on my wedding in 2007 and i kept it and it's dried and i can't use it and it, it, it wasn't this color it changed it was like a prettier like mauvey color and now it looks brown <laughs> it looks like dirt dirt lip gloss <laughs> But I need to let this go. And you know what? I actually feel okay because I put it back last time. But this time I feel okay letting it go. So again, I can't question this. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it go. And this right here, see this? I got this for Christmas. And I love this because it's like the Lip Smackers Christmas flavors. And it reminded me of being a little girl loving getting these. Except it was more like a candy cane. I'm getting them. And I was so excited to try them. And they tasted so good on your lips. But I'm keeping it new in the package. Why? That's silly. I need to take them out, and I will, and actually use them. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to speed this up to, oh, here's something else. If I keep it in a package like this, that means I value it more. I don't know why. That's how I determined what has more value than not. This is a, uh, what, Jeffree Star lipstick. I love it. The color is great. Phenomenal. But because I value it more than the other ones, when I use it, I put it back in its original packaging and keep it like that. The packaging makes me happy, just like this. Too Faced, I will put it back. It makes me happy, it brings me joy. Um, marketing does wonderful <laughs> because it does. It makes me so happy and I will, this is more valuable, I will not let this go. So the things that I let go of, are gonna be like opened and like old. So, all right, let's speed through this one too. Okay, so let's move on to highlighters and bronzers. Now, a lot of this was already pared down. So I'm going to keep this. I love this. This has like a golden highlight to it. This one, of course, is a unicorn one, but I'm going to let this one go. I'm okay with letting this one go. It's old. It's probably at least, oh God, like five, six years old. And you know, these things have expiration dates on them after you've used them. So I feel good letting this one go, but we will actually keep these ones. So now let's go to, let me see. Okay, so let's go to more like foundation and stuff like that. This foundation, since we're going off of the whole, um, you know, uh, how long it's been opened for, this cover up, it's my summer one because I get a lot tanner in the summer. This one's probably at least three to four years old and it's probably time to let it go. It's probably time to pass it forward. Same with these. Now see, I'm going to show you this right here. So here's the... Um, this is like a setting spray. Here's a primer. These are probably mm, four years old. It's time to replace them. And I did, because here is the new setting spray that I just bought from e.l.f. Uh, here's a setting powder, which I didn't have. And I do have, oh, here it is, it's up here. Here's a newer primer that I bought. So this is gonna obviously be staying in the keep. This is a keep. This is clearly going to get discarded because it's it's halfway, which is sad. That makes me sad. It is halfway um, done, but it's old. I mean, you're only allowed to use these things. What's it say? Can you read it right there? 12 months. So it's been four years. And I don't know why, because there was a while that I didn't use it, but now I'm using it again. So let's see. Let's move on to... All right. So now we're kind of moving on to the eyeshadow palettes, which I can honestly say does bring me a lot of joy. And what brings me a lot of joy is because they're just pretty, 
and the artistic potential that it creates. Like, here's, oh, glitter eyeshadows. I like this one too. This is a really good one. And it's just, that's why I get excited about eyeshadow palettes because it's creating something new, like something, a beautiful color combination on your face. And I mean, let's face it, I feel a lot prettier and more self-confident when my makeup is done. And I've always been very, very girly like that. So this is something that, see, there's that, that I'm probably not going to really let go of because I did scale a lot back. Ooh, glitter. But I might, I think what I'm gonna do is, and I can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna sell this one. I, it's pretty, it's MAC. I think I'm gonna try and sell it. They're pretty much nearly full. I can't believe I'm gonna, I'm saying that, but I'm rolling with these feelings. So if I'm not feeling overly attached, I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna sell that one <laughs> and put it towards my debt, right? But the rest of these palettes, like I said, I'll keep them all pretty. This is my newer one. Oh, my unicorn one. And see how I kept it in the box? That means I attached higher value to this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that back in my caboodle over there because I love my caboodle because of course it reminds me of being a little girl, you know, and having my caboodle and just loving playing with makeup. And then the brushes, I need to scale these down. Oh, I just realized this is not an eyeshadow. This is a highlight uh, palette, so I should put that with the highlighting stuff. I need to scale some of these brushes down. I really do. And, okay, like this one. Do you see this? This is broken. And you know uh, how old this is? From the year 2000. Kid you not, year 2000. And I probably kept it because it has a purple sparkle <laughs> handle. But we can let that go. And I'm still learning about like eyeshadow brushes, but I do, I need to pare some of this down like this. We can let this go. This came with some kind of bronzer and I don't even use it anymore. So, all right guys, let's, uh, oh, and you see this? Eyeshadow applicators, I don't use them. We can let it go. So, all right, let's start paring some more stuff down. Okay, let me show you this really quick. Do you see this? This is called an Avon color stick for eyes in chilled, apricot. This was my mother's when I was a little girl. <laughs> and I have a very hard time throwing this away because it captures the few time. I think she sold Avon for a little bit. And I just remember being a little girl. And I mean like Four and being mesmerized by all the makeup and all the fun stuff. This feels like an artifact of my childhood. And it's it's crazy that I cannot let it go. Now, will I use it? Of course not. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use it. But I feel like if I throw this out now, that I feel like I'm losing my childhood. And I know that's not rational, but it does. It feels like such a great loss to throw this away and then I'm gonna all right so this is what I'm getting rid of and I did really really good keep in mind this is the second time I'm doing the Kamari method on my makeup and about I think it was seven or eight months ago when I first tried it this was stuff that I held on to, like dried up nail polish, because it reminded me of a time, you know, years ago, and I had a memory attached to it. But this time I actually used Logic in the sense that the chemicals have separated and it's too old and it's not good for me. And that's a huge step for me, is that I have almost changed the habit of now letting go and actually feeling good about this. I do, I feel very good about letting this go. Okay, so everything has been sorted and like has been put with like, so now we're gonna be putting them back in their bins, their boxes, their containers, that way they'll be organized. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fast forward this part up.
so this is how I was trying to figure out how to put some of this makeup back in my cases. I felt like this one, since it's an older uh, makeup case, I put some of the older stuff in there. Stuff that I still used and stuff that I wasn't quite ready to get rid of. I put in here. And then over here in my caboodle, which obviously is my favorite, <laughs> I put more of my like higher end stuff, the stuff that I loved and kept in its package so it would have that new kind of feeling. Some of the palettes are under there. So that's kind of how I figured out how to organize this. <laughs> Again, I'm a hoarder, so I've never truly, truly been organized. And I'm trying to put things together that make sense to me so all right let's start going in the bathroom all right we did it the makeup is put back it's organized a little better the new stuff is out and ready to be used we pared down some of the perfumes though, I did pull this one back because I didn't like what it looked like with three and I like that color in that one so I did pull that out. Makeup brushes are there. The sun is shining. I don't know if we can see some of the sparkles over there. And we go down here. All of my very favorite stuff is in this caboodle. Let me see. Yep, it's under there. We have this space that's open. A lot of the makeup containers did go back there. And for the most part, we were able to actually clean this little bathroom up again. <laughs> Another little extra clean. So I am just really excited. It looks good. I love how my makeup looks. It's organized. And guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.